Shutting down the run game and turning your opponent into a one-dimensional passer should be the start of every defensive game plan. When this happens, you can start to unload all your blitzes and advanced coverage schemes. But if you don't stop the run first, then none of that will matter. So in this video, I'll give you guys five tips on stopping the run, no matter the scheme or formation you want to use. Then I'll also give you a specific run defense designed to stop those big, heavy teams. And it is all going to be a part of my new Georgia Bulldogs defensive scheme. Now, the first tip and one I think that a ton of people don't utilize is checking your run fits and also understanding what they mean. So once you get to the line before the ball is snap hold L2 and square, that will check the fits to the right and L2 and circle will check your fits to the left. And these lines represent the gaps that each player is responsible for if they run to that side. So now if there's a run and one of these players is in a run fit, they will play their run fit gap first and and come downhill and try to plug up that gap. But not every defense is going to have the same fits. Certain blitzes will have wild run fits that can leave you open to some big runs to the outside. Then in cover two, the whole front seven are in run fits along with the two outside corners, but the two safeties aren't. So they're going to play pass first. Then cover three, the whole front seven and the backside safety are in fits. Then in cover four, everyone except the two outside corners are in run fits. Then tip number Number two is setting the edge in the run game. This entails having a player being outside on the run and him being able to stack up blockers on the outside and turn the ball carrier back inside to the rest of the defense. This is going to be massive to limit the big plays given up. You want to funnel the run back inside to your help. So picking a defense where you have some players further to the outside, really there to force runners back into the middle is going to be a huge help. And that can be a walk down linebacker or even a safety down on the line of scrimmage who it is just really going to be hard for offenses to get outside of this player. Tip number three is utilizing the inside stuff ability on your interior defensive tackles. This ability will activate on inside runs and it allows these players to burst into the backfield and either make a tackle themselves or get the running back off his spot. Now he's chopping his feet and is able to get downhill and pick up yards, allowing other people to come in and finish him off. So when you combine this ability with setting the edge, like we talked about before, Four. Now we can limit runs to the outside and then also shut down runs up the middle, putting us in a great spot to shut down a ton of different run games you will come up against. Then for tip number four, it's going to be being aggressive with your user. Now this can either be a linebacker or a safety, but if we are playing someone who is really trying to establish the run, I want to start to fill the run with my user and be aggressive and come downhill. And this can be one of the best ways to get tackles for a loss if you can shoot in the backfield and make a play. But it is also great to track down ball carriers as they break to the outside and limit their ability to be explosive on the edge of your defense. Then tip number five is picking the right formation. A ton of people will try and stop the run out of dime or nickel looks and wonder why they still have people breaking tackles and busting big gains. So picking a heavy run set that uses a strong front seven with our linebackers in D-line is going to be huge to help you plug up the run on the inside and not get pushed around. Then picking formations and plays that have strong edges to help send people back into the inside is another key factor for your run defense ability. So in today's video, I'll be breaking down the three, four odd formation, and it is going to help you accomplish all of these run defensive goals. Now this three, four run defense is going to be a part of my new Georgia Bulldogs defensive scheme that they have used to dominate college football over the past few seasons, culminating in back-to-back -back national championship. Now early in their head coach, Kirby Smart's tenure, they would employ a ton of three, four looks like we're breaking down today with three down linemen and four linebackers. And this was great to shut down some more of those heavy run offenses of the time. And we'll be using ours for the same reason. That is the college football world moved to more spread passing games. He adapted his defensive formations. And that is what we'll be looking at in a ton of our coverage videos. And in those, we are looking at the dime two, three formation. I'll link a playlist for the full defensive scheme down below. So you can check out everything else in this Bulldogs defense. Then you can take this Georgia defense to a whole new level by checking out my site Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video where I'll break down how well our cover four run defense plays as a pass defense and how it can be great to shut down these heavy under center pass games while still obviously being great against the run. Then I also have a blitz that will look the same as our cover four drop pre-snap that you can mix in to get some big time pressure on the QB and this is just going to help you make everything you learn in today's video so much more effective. Then 
Then also on the site for this Georgia defense, we have a couple of great 3-4 blitz packages and a really good third down blitz package out of this dime 2-3 formation. Then also on the site is a new area where you can find all my schemes from Madden 23. And this is where my Madden 24 NFL spread offense is, where we break down the Bills Josh Allen scheme, the Joe Burrow Bengals offense, the Jalen Hurts Eagles offense, and the Patrick Mahomes Chiefs offense on the site. Also on the site, you can get access to my playbooks, which are full written breakdowns for my schemes. And there are seven out so far, with the newest being my brand new Madden 24 NFL spread revolution offense. And this is 66 pages long and will take your offense to the next level. Then also starting today, I'm running a sale on the site. You can use code DOGS at checkout for 50% off your first month. So if you want to check out Scheme Kings, there will be a link for it down in the description below. Now, my main run defense here will be run at a cover four drop in three, four odd, and it can be found in all of these playbooks. Then you just want to make sure that cover four drop is in your audibles and you want to set your coaching adjustments up to look like this. To set this up, we want to come out in SS2 trap in three, four odd. Then you will see when you do, your safety is going to walk down to the strong side, down on the line outside of the tight end. Then we want to show blitz and right after that audible over to cover four drop. This will keep our safety down on the line while we are in this cover four drop defense. Now you must start in SS2 trap then show blitz before you audible over to the cover four drop. If you don't show blitz first, your safety will come down off the line and go back to normal safety depth. Now this down safety is one of the keys to this run defense because he starts down on the outside on the strong or overloaded side and he is in perfect position to set the edge and blow up runs on the outside or hold up blockers and not allow the running back to get to the outside, forcing him back into the rest of our help. Now the reason we wanna be in this cover for drop for a run D is because of its run fits. Now we already went over how to check our fits up in our tip section. And if we do this here, this is going to show us the gaps that each player is responsible for, for a run to that side. So cover four drop is going to have nine players who will come down and play the run first, including both of our safeties. Then because we are playing them closer to the line, they will be able to get to the run much faster, helping us make a ton of plays in the run game. So we are going to tend to use this D defense against heavy looks like I form with two running backs or a single back formation with multiple tight ends. So I just want to use the safety who is on the weak side on this play. So if it's I form, go away from the tight end. And if it's single back, look for the safety with only one eligible receiver. And this is always going to be the safety who doesn't have that auto walk down. Now this D all starts in the middle and we have inside stuff on our nose tackle here. And he does an amazing job of getting quick sheds on the inside and blowing up their interior your run game. If we can shut down the inside run game, then that forces them to start attacking the edges of this defense. So this is where having five across the board with our 3D linemen and two linebackers is great because now we can stack the O-line and leave our four back players with our two linebackers and our two safeties free to flow to the ball and make a ton of plays. We really want our two inside backers as free as possible so they can play sideline to sideline and flow to the football and close on ball carriers and stop them for little to no gain. But these two outside linebackers also do a great job of setting the edge and can get off blocks and help make plays themselves or string out ball carriers so the flow can come and clean it up. Then for our safeties, the non-user one like we went over before is going to fire downhill super fast and blow up a ton of runs to this side and he can just get super aggressive coming downhill. Then as a user, if there's only one receiver to my side, so it's an I form with a single receiver, something like that, then I actually want to play in the middle of the formation, almost like another linebacker. But if it's a balanced set where there is two eligibles on the high safety side, then I actually want to walk down to the outside and play more on the outside of the linebackers. And if it is ever a run to my side, I want to fire downhill and blow it up and try to make some big plays. Then if it's a run away, I want to play over the top and flow to the ball and help clean up. Or if I can get a really good read at it, I can even fire in and make a play myself on the far side of the field. Now this cover four drop is going to give you an insanely effective run defense. And don't forget, there is a ton more for this Georgia defense up right now on Scheme Kings, giving you so many more options in this scheme to take it to the next level. But then if you want a full breakdown of cover four palms, where I show you how to make it the best lockdown pass defense in Madden 24, then you need to check that out right here.